A mobile woman says hospitals denied her brother entry, saying there were no ICU beds available. Gabby Easterwood joins us live outside University Hospital. Hey, Gabby. Well, Dana, the woman that we spoke with says that her brother was set for surgery after COVID-19 complications, but she says that this hospital and another one here in Mobile said that they'd have to find somewhere else. Anthony Tackett was originally at Providence Hospital due to COVID-19. He was released after just two days, but after complications, he was readmitted to Providence. So while he was in there, he started coughing really bad and he tore something in his stomach. Teresa German says when doctors discovered a tear in her brother's stomach on Saturday, they knew he needed surgery, but were unable to perform it. The two hospitals in Mobile able to perform the essential surgery are Mobile Infirmary and University Hospital. German says both denied Tackett, telling the family there were no ICU beds available. Because my question is, is it all corona? You know, I, I feel like it's very unusual for every hospital within a certain radius to have no beds available. That's just bizarre. I mean, I don't know what to think. Tackett went to the University of Alabama at Birmingham Medical Center early Sunday morning for the surgery. And now that he's at UAB, it's like, Nobody really knows what they're going to do or what's going on. German is very concerned for her brother's health and for the community back here in Mobile as well. In a traumatic anything happened here locally with a massive group of people, what's going to happen to them? If we don't have the resources and, you know, we don't have the room for emergency situations, what happens to them? According to the Alabama Department of Public Health, as of Friday, there have been more than 11,000 hospitalizations statewide since the pandemic began. Our hospitals need to be revamped. They seriously do. Now, we reached out to Mobile Infirmary and University Hospital to see if they are at capacity. Now, Mobile Infirmary would not go into specifics, but they did say that it is in the realm of possibilities because their ICU bed numbers change day by day. Now, University Hospital, on the other hand, has not gotten give, given us an answer to that question just yet. Reporting live in Mobile, I'm Gabby Easterwood, WKRG News 5.